Hi, welcome to Vision IGCSE. It's a classes for IGCSE and GCSE student. Today we have to discuss Cambridge IGCSE mathematics syllabus for 2025, 26 and 27. This is updated syllabus. So we are going to discuss, analyze and understand the difference between the core and extended syllabus. Then what are the topics that are removed? What are the topics that are added? Uh, you will enjoy the video. So let's go. Here you have first of all content over you. So there is no changes in the content as you have a nine topics were there and those topics are same. You have a number, algebra, graph, coordinate geometry, then geometry, mensuration, trigonometry, transformation and vector, probability, statistic part is there. So here the core subject content learner targeting grade C to G and extended one A star to C okay so extended subject content is little bit of extra and little bit of difficult compared to core subject content fine additional subject content is there in the extended subject content all right then how the assessment takes place so for core students they have to give the paper one non-calculator uh, one and then paper three as well so it's a 80 mark question papers will be there okay then nextly extended student uh, they have to give the paper two and paper four so it's of 100 marks all right here you can see on the your right hand side of the screen you have a core subject content and left hand side you have an extended subject content i will uh, discuss all the topics of extended subject content as well as core subject content and i will even differentiate while discussing the uh, the the topics even i will discuss what are the topic extra there in the extended subject content so we'll start with the first one number in the number you have a uh, types of numbers so natural whole number prime number then the the common factor lcm hcf those are there fine then nextly set so set is there for even core as well then powers and roots here as well powers and roots then fraction decimal percentages same thing here as well in the core students then ordering okay here also you have ordering for the core student then four operations operations it's a basically addition subtraction multiplication division of let's say, integer numbers then reciprocal uh, numbers improper fraction proper fraction mixed a fraction uh, then nextly indices part is there all right then nextly standard form here also you have a standard form standard form is in the the form of a times 10 to the power of n and a is in between 1 to 10 all right then nextly estimation estimation same then uh, limit of accuracy upper bound lower bound uh, topic is there these are not too difficult they are very basic general topics are there then ratios and proportion here you have then rates all right then percentages okay then uh, nextly using calculator part is there so some of the difficult questions you have to solve using calculator then time money okay so exponential growth now exponential growth here and third part is more specifically added for the extended student okay then nextly you have a second topic that is algebra and graph so under algebra and graph you have around 13 topics are there all right so introduction to the algebra algebraic manipulation then algebraic fraction these topics are same for both core as well as extended student fine then the algebraic fraction part this is extra part for the extended student all right then nextly indices two part here indices two part we have to understand the seven to eight rules and apply them to solve any example then you have a construction of equations solving those equation linear equation 
then changing the subject of the formula all right simultaneous equation part is there so even you can see in the equation part you have a seven topics are there for the extended student but for core student just a you have around four to five topics are there all right then nextly inequality part inequality part is extensively covered for extended student then for core student it's just a uh, general topic is there then nextly sequence so then proportion part this proportion part is extra for the extended student then graphs in the practical situation so we have to understand and analyze the graph part straight line quadratic cubic uh, graphs are there all right even speed time graphs acceleration deceleration graphs are there and graph based uh, equations are there then nextly you have a graphs of a function all right and the next part is sketching the curves so sketching the curve linear quadratic cubic reciprocal and exponential curve so the sketching part for the core student just you have to understand and analyze the linear and quadratic graphs okay then nextly for extended student this differentiation part is extra there okay you have to understand the gradient then derive the maximum minimum point all right then from use this uh, gradient to form the straight line equation tangent equation and things like that then nextly function function so g of x f of x their uh, function domain range you have to understand and analyze uh, these topics in the function that's it then nextly you have a coordinate geometry so coordinate geometry you have a, you have to understand the x-axis y-axis drawing the linear graphs gradient length and midpoint formula equation of a linear graph okay so for extended student just linear uh, sorry length and midpoint part is extra there this uh, the the core student this part is excluded okay so there is uh, the length and midpoint formula is not there for the core student then nextly parallel line perpendicular line so for core student just a parallel line concept is there and extended student extra perpendicular line concept is also there okay so then next part is geometry so the first topic in the geometry it's a very basic that is understanding the point plane then congruency concepts okay all the different types of triangles quadrilateral their properties are there in the first part okay geometrical term then nextly the the geometrical construction so geometrical construction part you have to understand how to draw the line angle triangles okay uh, they are intersecting points as well so you have to understand these things and you will get the questions on this uh, geometrical construction part for two mark three mark generally then scale drawing as well so then next one is similarity similarity is again extensively covered for ex uh, extended student so then nextly symmetry and then angle angle part so angle in the angle part actually all the properties are there okay so uh, the the angle around the point straight line angle okay the sum of angles of the triangle these uh, a part is there then nextly circle theorem okay for extended student you have to understand and learn all the circle theorem so you have a circle theorem one circle theorem two part is there but for core student just a basic circle theorem uh, two circle theorems are there and that's it so then next one is mensuration so mensuration is one of the interesting topic why because you will get variety of different types of questions in the exam as well all right so here triangles okay so apply them to an, uh, analyze and solve the examples all right then for extended student you have a exact trigonometric values you have to find out sine cosine tan angles then trigonometric functions okay then non right angle triangle based uh, 
questions so you have to utilize sine rule cosine rule to solve the examples then pythagoras theorem and 3d examples 3d diagrams are there to solve the equations next part is transformation and vector so transformation and vector you have a uh, four topics first one reflection rotation enlargement and translation so these are the four topics are there for even core student as well so apart from this one for extended student they have a vector in two dimension magnitude of vector vector geometry part is there the, these are the extra part are there for extended student so then next one it's a probability so probability topic introduction to the probability then nextly relative and expected frequencies probabilities of combined event and conditional probability part so conditional probability part is ex only for the extended student all right then last topic that is statistic in the statistic part you have to understand the classification of data interpretation of data fine then average and major of spread then nextly statistical charts such as uh, the bar chart pie chart pictogram steam and leaf diagrams then simple frequency distribution diagrams are there okay so then nextly scatter diagrams as well it's the same for both core as well as extended student now for extended student cumulative frequency diagrams are there then even histogram part is there for extended student now what are the topics added to the new syllabus or excluded to the new syllabus we will discuss here so you can see the changes in the syllabus for 2025 26 and 27 so here uh, some of the changes such as changes in addition subtraction of vector multiplying vector these are subject actually they have removed data collection also removed fine then inequality part then certain squares cube and roots also excluded okay then nextly the proper subset linear programming linear programming this is actually subject uh, removed from the 2025 exam then congruency criteria, data collection, box and whisker plot is also removed from the subject. All right, the content added. Okay, this this is one important for extended student. So squares, cubes, and roots, thirds. Fine. Nextly, graph of a function uh, in the form of a x to the power n, domain and range. Then exact trigonometric values we have to understand. Okay. So yeah, these are the subject that are added to the extended subject. Now, one more thing I want to add here in my experience is that for extended student from 20, uh, 25 onward, you have to understand and analyze each and every other topic little bit in depthly. Okay, that is uh, the perspective of the, the Cambridge, this syllabus, fine so we are providing uh, classes and regular one-on-one -on -one sessions to cover all the topics so if you want to connect with us i have left the contact in the description box that's it thank you